Hello boys and girls, welcome back Belmont Artist. It's so good to see you today and ooh, you probably can't hear me. Uh, I'm wearing this mask. Huh. Let me be honest, I don't like wearing these masks. But I do it because I want to make people feel better who are around me. And if I don't have to, I won't wear one. But when there's people who, uh, who feel like they need it, I'll wear it around them. This is a funny mask. It's got kitty cats all over it. This is a gift from my wife. Pretty cool. Indeed. Now, to be honest, there's some people who've been wearing masks so much that I forget what the rest of their face looks like. And some people get to wear masks because if they wear their mask, um, they don't have to worry about brushing their teeth anymore. That's not true. Always brush your teeth. But today, we're going to try to do a self-portrait. And if you remember, self-portrait is a portrait or picture of yourself. But it's not your whole body. It's going to be just your head. But the cool thing about drawing with a mask on is that you only have to worry about drawing the eyes. The nose will be covered up. The mouth will be covered up. So we're going to do a self-portrait wearing a mask. So get out a piece of paper. And there's two ways to lay down a piece of paper. The long way is called landscape. The tall way is called portrait. And if you think of seeing a picture of somebody up on a wall, normally, just one person, normally it is portrait, not landscape. So we're going to do portrait because we're doing a self-portrait. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, we need a pencil. Mr. Fender has lost his pencil. So I'm just going to use a black colored pencil right now because that can make some lines with it. And first, I need a shape of a head. Now, when we're little kids, we draw a head like a circle, like a stick man. But I got a pretty big head, but it's not a circle. It's more like almost an egg shape. It's round at the top, and it comes down to a point at the bottom. So I'm going to kind of do a real light shape. There we go. Now, so that's the shape of a head. Is it mine? I don't know. Now we have to draw a mask. Now if I look at my face, my nose is kind of right in the middle. I don't have to draw that. So right above that, I'm going to draw a line that comes up and over, and that's my mask. So down here is all mask. Now I could draw a mask like this one with kitty cats all over it. But I'm, I'm not going to worry about the mask right now. What I'm going to worry about is what's above the mask. What is above the mask? My eyes. So right here, I'm going to draw some lines where my nose would come out. Now this isn't going to look a lot like me. And then I'm going to do eyebrows. I got some big bushy eyebrows. And then I'm going to do eyes. Now, are eyes round? Maybe your maybe your eyeball is round, but your eyelids make your eyes pointed on the ends and then open up and back together, almost like little footballs. So let's try that. Let's draw like a little football shape right here. A little football shape. Oh, these aren't the same, but that's okay. Now inside the eye. So we could do some eyelashes above it. Inside the eye, I'm going to do a big circle. Now, I always like to do a light reflection. Now, I don't know if you can see on camera, but if you look at somebody's eyes, you will always see reflection. I've got some big lights in here that are shining down on my eyes, and if you were in here looking at me, you'd see little dots of light in my eye. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a circle on each side. That's gonna be the light reflection. I'm gonna leave that white. Then I'm gonna do the middle of my eye, the black part. I'm not going to cover over that light reflection. And I'm going to leave that outside for the color. Now, my hair, I don't know. 
you might want to look in a mirror while you're doing this. I'm just kind of guessing about what I might look like. I'm not really sure. All I know is that I got ears over here. Ears come down pretty low. So, let's see. I got some hair going down to my beard. I don't know if any of y'all have a beard. I haven't seen you this year. I'm going to do my hair, which it kind of parts over to this side. And if I turned around, that would mean the part would be to this side. So I'm going to just kind of do some hair. A lot of people say my hair is black. Mr. Fender, you have black hair. It's dark brown. I promise you. I'm going to do some hair. I'm going to flip that hair up. And hair, you just do a lot of lines. This is not going to be that awesome. Now your hair can go up higher than your head because my hair definitely sticks up higher than my head. My hair goes all over the place. Let's just make it messy. Over here, other side of the hair. I don't know if that really looks like me or not. But the cool thing is, one of the hardest parts about drawing a person is the mouth and the nose. A lot of times I can't get those, but eyes, they're fun to practice. Now this doesn't look anything like me, to be honest. So I'm just going to keep drawing. We'll just say it's a person in a mask. There we go. So we can just imagine that's the rest of me, then right under here. I can do two lines for my neck. And I'll just put like I'm wearing a t-shirt. Do some shoulders. Look at that. Now that might not be me, but that's somebody wearing a mask. I'll do a little seam on this mask. Do some lines in it. There. There's a person in a mask. Let's add some color. Now color's tough. I have people tell me or ask me in class a lot. Ever since I've been teaching art, they say, Mr. Fender, do you have a skin colored crayon or do you have a skin colored colored pencil? Well, everybody's got different colored skin. My skin, I was told year before last, Mr. Fender, why are you always so red? I don't know. I guess I just kind of look pink. Let's do some eye color first before we try to do the skin color because that's hard. I know that inside my eye I've got green coming out from the center. And this is a good time to draw some eyes that you like, not necessarily the, dry, the eyes that you have. So if you think, I would, I've always wanted to have blue eyes or something like that, draw blue eyes. The cool thing about art, you can draw what you want. I'll do a little bit of green in the middle and then brown on the outside. Now. That color eye, brown and green, is called amber. So the brown and the green kind of blend together there in the middle. And I can add a little bit more green in a minute. I actually have more brown than green, but blend it in a little bit more. There we go. Leave that little light spot in there. All right. Now, I've got my, got my colored pencils all mixed up. You know Mr. Fender doesn't like have his colored pencils mixed up. Now I can do a little bit harder line around that eye. I forgot the eyelid. So I'm going to kind of do a, a line over top of it. Mr. Fender's getting a little sloppy. That's okay. Do the eye, eyelashes. All right, skin color. When I was a kid, I used to do yellow. A lot of cartoons are yellow, so I start with yellow for me. And when that doesn't look right, then I start to add other colors. But that's just a good base. Don't forget my neck down here. Now yellow, that's starting to look weird, so I'm gonna do some brown over top of it. Not too much, I'm not too dark. 
be cooler if I was. I'm gonna go over these lines. I did the hair black and I told y'all that I had brown hair so I'm gonna put some brown in the hair. Brown coming down here. I guess if I really wanted to I could add some of my white hairs. There we go. And then I told you, people tell me, Mr. Fender, why do you look red? So what if, what if I put red in here? Let's see. Now you're not gonna see much of this. Now, whatever. Then give myself a blue shirt because I've got a blue shirt on. I'm not doing a whole lot of detail because I want you to do your own. Come up with your own look. But basically, just draw someone wearing a mask. Take advantage of this whole mask situation so that you don't have to draw the rest of the face. I'm gonna get, make this one of those blue masks. Kind of like the hospital ones or the doctor's office ones. I'm just gonna kind of do light blue. We go. So, can you draw yourself in a mask? I want you to try, and I would love to see what you come up with. So, take advantage. Look, I only had to draw this much of my face. So, I could put a lot more work into this, but I'm excited to see your work. So, when you are done, you can either take a picture of it and you could email it to me or you can bring it up in our Google Meet and show it to me. Whatever you want to do, I would love to see these. So keep doing art, guys. Thanks a lot. See you next time.